Today marks my one year anniversary of making Beat Saber custom maps, so to celebrate this I'm going to rank all of my own maps. I've made almost 50 maps in the past year and I'm going to be rating them as follows. Goaded, I like it, okay, meh, and yikes. I originally planned to talk about each map in a little bit of detail, but I figured no one would actually want to watch that, so instead I'll give myself up to 20 seconds per map to give it a ranking, and I'll be going in order of release date, so we're going to start with my very first map and end with my newest one. Sounds good? Alright, let's start. So like I said, I'm starting with my very first map, but you can't actually play this one anymore since I deleted it. And rightfully so, because it had almost 60 objectively wrong notes, like 40 vision blocks, and the notes weren't even on B. So yeah, this one's going in the yikes category. This is actually my fourth map, and this map basically has all the same issues as the previous map, but just less of them. So still, yikes. This is my first map without any objectively wrong notes, so good job me I guess. Though the sliders in this one kind of trigger me because they don't start with an arrow but they end with one and I don't know what I was thinking. It's definitely an improvement over the last one though, so it's going in meh. This is the first map I've made within only one day, which you can probably tell by playing it. The up and down pattern in the course is too repetitive for me, it's just basically copy pasted for a minute straight. But I do like the sliders when the chorus starts, so I'm going to give it a map. Just like the last map, I like the sliders I used in this one a lot, especially the ones at the end. And I also made lights myself for the first time, and they're alright, but not too special. This one's actually okay. This one's kinda important to me because I made hard and expert difficulties for the first time and it's also my first ever curated map, though to me it doesn't really stand out at all, so it's a map for me. This one was actually my second map, but I removed it and remapped it, and thank god I did because this version is so much better. I like the dog boss when they sing the word fall in the chorus and overall I think it's pretty enjoyable. I'll put it in okay. Can we skip to the good part? This song got popular on TikTok, so I just thought I'd make a map for it. And once again, I like the sliders, but other than that, I don't really have anything to say. So it's gonna go in meh. This is my first full spread map, meaning it includes all difficulties from easy up to expert. And even one map of the week on the Beast Saber website, and it's still my most popular map. But I just don't get it. I think it's kind of overrated and isn't too interesting to me. So it gets an okay for me. You are surrounding, all my surroundings twisting. While this one might not have the best patterns ever, I do think they get better at the end of the song. And the lights are also pretty cool. So yeah, I actually like this one. Oh, no. I think I used bomb resets for the very first time with this map, and where they're used, I think they're pretty fun. It's short and enjoyable, so I like it. My first map of 2020, and also the first map for my OK Orchestra music pack. It's one of my least favorite songs from the album, and I think you can notice it in the kind of boring mapping. It doesn't really have any issues though, so I'll just put it in OK. Another full spread map. This one turned out worse than I expected though because my expert and expert plus difficulties were too similar to each other so I had to make the expert plus harder and the expert easier but that kind of resulted in the expert plus getting over mapped so I'll unfortunately have to put it in there. I actually mapped this one twice but I scrapped the first version and instead made this one. I'm not really a fan of the up and down notes when the chorus starts, but the rest of the map's fine. It gets an okay. Ah yes, light switch. The one where I went viral on TikTok for doing a stupid little dance. The patterns in this one are actually pretty decent, and I like the bomb resets on the light switch flick sound, so yeah, I like this one.
This map was pretty cool because I matched the text walls and the colors to the actual music video of the song. But I wish I kinda did more with Nudo extensions and the patterns on this one though, so I'm only going to give it an okay. Get it? Because it's called OK Overture. Okay, I'll move on. Under the surface. I like the patterns in this one. Even though I've seen that not everyone can hit them right, I think the wrist rolls during the corners are really fun. And the bomb resets at the end are also a nice touch. And the lights are decent, so I like it. Just like with my play, I scrapped the first version and remapped it, and for some reason it took me 9 hours in total, but the map turned out pretty well. I like the walls on the hey hey haze in the chorus, though I feel like it misses some emphasis in the verse and the bridge. I still like it though. You ever get a little bit tired of light? I love how this one starts with just the lights. The verses are fine, but I really like the mapping of the chorus, it's very dancey. And to be honest, I don't know why I added those crouch walls in the post chorus, but even with those, I I think I gotta give this one the first go that The up and down notes during the horn sections are very fun to play and the patterns during the breakdown at the end are also decent. The rest of the patterns are kinda on par with OK Overture though, but I like it. By the way, if you're still watching and enjoying this video, please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. And if you have any ideas for future videos, now that I can talk, let me know in the comments. All right. Back to the ranking. This is a remap of my very first map and it's much, much better. The side movement during the chorus is fun and the crouch walls when he sinks down are really fun. Though someone who left the review on this one thought otherwise. The dot notes in the verses are a nice touch compared to the nothingness of the original, but the rest of the verses aren't too special. I like it though. To be honest, I kind of forgot I even mapped this. Like, it's not a bad map. The bomb resets in the chorus are fun and I experimented with the patterns a little bit more, but I just feel like there's something missing in this one. It's okay. This one doesn't have too much in it, but it definitely does what it needs to do. The dancey and not too fast patterns match the overall chill vibe of the song, and where it gets a little faster during the bridge, it's still fun. I actually don't come back to play this map a lot, but I think I should. I'ma put it in goaded. Last but definitely not least from the OK Orchestra pack, my least favorite song from the album. This is the second time I've used Noodle extensions and I'm really proud of this one. It only has a hard difficulty and there's not too much Noodle stuff happening, but it still manages to fit the vibe of the song very well for me. So it's goaded. Looking back at this map, it's actually a lot better than I remembered. It has fun patterns all the way through, and even though it only has an extra difficulty, it doesn't feel undermapped at all. I feel like the side to side pattern before the chorus would fit really well with some arcs though. Goaded. Speaking of arcs, this is my first map that featured them. The version with the arcs isn't the main difficulty though, and I can see why. The crossovers in the verses are a little bit hard to read and I didn't need the arcs. And also the double up and downs in the chorus feel a little bit too fast. The lights are very good though, so I like it. Just like in the song itself, not a lot happens apart from the chorus. I love the movement with the dodgeballs and the patterns in the chorus, and the lights are decent too. The rest is just kinda boring. It's okay. This was the first time I made a map for a game soundtrack, and the patterns and lights are alright, but it's pretty much the same thing copy pasted twice because the song loops, but I could have put in more effort with this one. It's okay. The arcs have returned again, and they've been used much better than the first time. Just like the last map though, it's pretty much the same mapping copied twice, however, this time it's less of an issue because the patterns are fun, and the arcs make up for it, so I like it. Another full scrap map, and this one is my best one yet, and also still my most recent one. It's really dancey, the arcs combined with the dodgeballs on the course are very fun, and the faster rap part is nice to play too, and it has decent lights by Johnny Silverham, so it's goaded. <laughs> I 
I felt like this song would fit well with ARCs and it did. However, it only has an expert difficulty and it does feel a little bit undermapped. The lights are good though, so I like it. This one is overall extremely solid. It's dancey during the chorus, the verses also have nice movement, and I use the side to side patterns again, but this time with arcs, and they're so much fun to play. I also like the red and green colors I chose for this one, so it's goaded. This one has some nice movement during both the verses and the chorus, though the only thing I wish I would have done differently is the faster part on the drums at the end. I feel like they could have been a little bit smoother. Also I collabed with Fader 99 for the first time and the chroma lights in this one are awesome. It's goaded. I really enjoy the arcs in this one. It only has an expert difficulty but it's not on the map at all and it has some good lights and I like the way it ends. It's simple, it's fun, it's goaded. This one is fun to play, however I do think it has some issues. I don't know why I put a dodgeball immediately at the beginning, but it doesn't play too well. And I also feel like it's a tiny bit undermapped in some parts, but it's not bad though. I still like it. For this one the patterns during the verses are alright, but I love the patterns and the dog ball in the pre-chorus, though I think I use the arcs during the chorus a little bit too much, but it does have some nice lights. I like it. My favorite parts of this map are, again, the side to side patterns with the arcs. I guess they're just always fun, and it has great patterns all the way through, and it fits Expert really well. The lights by me and Gavo Time are a little bit blinding at the beginning, but are otherwise nice. It's goaded. I thought it would be a fun concept to use the arcs a lot again in the chorus, though like with I'm Not Famous, I think they're overused. It didn't get curated and I never really go back to play this one. It's okay. Also, if you haven't noticed already, I really love arcs. Another collab with Faded, so there's some nice chroma lights again. The movement of the dodgeballs is nice and matches the audio from going to your left ear and then to your right ear. I feel like this map could have been better with some arcs though, but I still like it. The bomb resets in the chorus are quick but fun and the arcs are actually not overused this time. And once again, Faded Slides are awesome, though they unfortunately don't work right on the version with arcs. It's goaded though. Put your hands up I, I wish I didn't put the dots at the beginning because they're a bit weird to play, but the rest of the map is really fun. And I love how you actually have to hold your hands up in the air when he sings to put your hands up. Goaded. A very solid remap of the original. I think the patterns during the verses in this one are more fun and consistent and the side to side movement with the arcs is very satisfying. And I've used a new lighting system for the first time. It's goaded. This is my second map with the new lights, but in another environment this time. The bomb resets during the chorus are really fun, though I could have put in a little bit more variation at the end. The long right hand arc in the second chorus is very fun though. Goaded. I didn't use the new lights this time because I got tired of working on this one and I just wanted to finish it. Not much about this one stands out, but it's definitely not bad. I like it. I made this one for Jotastic's Gorillas pack, which was exciting. The difficulty spread is nice and I returned to using the new lights. I think this one turned out well. It's goaded. When I heard this song, I immediately started mapping it because I knew it would be fun in Beat Saber and it definitely is. The penance and the chorus are copy pasted pretty much, but that's not a problem here since it's so fun and it's also a short song. The verses are good, the lights are good, it's goaded. With this one I went a bit out of my comfort zone on the patterns, but I think it turned out really well. The patterns during the instrumentals really fit the song, and once again the lights are nice, so it's goaded. And there you have it, all my 50 maps ranked. Here's what the final tier list looks like. As I expected, the maps in the lower ranks are older and the ones in the higher ranks are a lot newer, but that also shows how much my mapping skills have improved over time. 
I think this is a pretty decent ranking. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get notified when I upload another one of these videos. I'm currently working on a big one, so stay tuned. Alright, goodbye now.